Hey, um, I'm going to show you how to build this beast on Capitol Hill. So Steve Sinisterhand um, posted about uh, building on Capitol Hill. So I rose to the challenge with a UFO. So I'm going to show you how to do the UFO build that I do. It all relies on this, which is the flip on stair gantries. It's actually super, super simple. So you begin by just creating a radial foundation. You can use Jug's method. If you don't know how to, how to do that, just go and Google it. Um, or you can just use blueprints if you've already built your, uh, your radial foundations. Now you want to get rid of the inside bits so that you have all of the outside foundations. Notice you'll have 12 foundations here. And now you're going to arrange the stair gantries um, all facing inwards like this so that they're all oriented the same. Um, stairs all facing in the same direction. I'm just going to do um, an example here of just a few of them. You'll be doing all 16. I'm just going to put six down just to show you how it works. Um, it's a bit counterintuitive, but it's kind of obvious when you think about it. Like the game thinks that the stair gantries um, basically don't, that they shouldn't be allowed to be where they are. And so by placing a post um, in the middle of the front of a stair gantry, you can basically fool the game and flip them. Because if you notice here, that post is attached to the foundation. It's not attached to the gantry because the gantry doesn't like it. So what you want to do is to go and place posts on, on all of them. And then you want to blueprint each of them with the posts. Don't blueprint with the foundations, just the posts and the stairways. I call them gantries. I think people call them all sorts of things, but for me, they're stair gantries. So in this example, I've taken six, and again, you'll be doing all 16. I'm just gonna call it demo and show you how they flip. Um, I'm gonna show you here an example of it, it failing a little bit so that you can see that it, that, that can happen, but um, I, I included it so you, you're aware it can happen, but there's no real issue with it. You can just go and rearrange the gantries on the foundations you've laid and do it again. Sometimes it happens, most of the time it doesn't. So anyway, here we are at Capitol Hill. So what Steve wanted to do was to build using the foundation method like down below, but of course this is a UFO build. So I'm placing my camp unit right on the tippity top. And the reason is because that's going to give me five full floors above that tip to work with. Because obviously if you're doing a UFO, you want to have a lot of upward um, space. Um, the downwards are really helpful, especially for the build that I did here, which has um, got lots of hanging walls. Now these posts that I'm placing here, these are so that I've got a guide when I'm placing the radial um, blueprint that, that you will have just made. and. It's quite, you know, it's all by eye, so you're almost only gonna get it wrong. If you get it wrong, you can delete all of the posts and then delete all of the gantries or simply replace the camp. Uh, it's effortful, it's a bit painstaking, but uh, like this placement, it's kind of in the middle. I'm happy with that, it's fine. Um, so once you've done that, um, you're now ready to lay the post foundations around here. Now at the moment, this glitch works. Um, floating foundations. It probably won't in the future, but I'm using it because it's an easier way for me to get hanging walls. And if you're doing the build now, um, you know, patch, is it 22? Then I'd suggest doing it this way. Um, all I'm doing is laying these down and then I put a wall on the outside of each and then I do the hanging wall um, uh, technique. If you don't know hanging walls, just YouTube search jug hanging walls and you'll find out. So I can put a greenhouse down. It's so fun. So if you've made a big 16 um, stair gantry flip like this, then you'll be able to place a greenhouse in it. Um, it takes quite a bit of um, moving around to make it really perfectly centered. So get ready to spend a fair amount of time uh, doing that. I guess also, like if you've got vertigo, you probably don't want to do this build. <laughs> um, 
So I skipped a step and I did it on purpose because if you know the hanging wall technique, then you'll understand. But this is the result of the hanging wall, right? I've got 16 arrangements of four doorways, all with roofs so that I can hang little half walls, which are pretty. And that's the only reason that they're there. They, they're kind of like um, the dude would say, you know, they really pull the room together. That They're just for decoration. Uh, there's no need to do it um and whilst you're doing it um you're suspended you know many hundreds of feet above the air and it's you're gonna die you're gonna die lots um so once you've completed all of those hanging walls of course you then have to remove all the gantries and, and then you have to die a bit more um and you're gonna keep removing those roofs and those doorways until all you have left are the hanging walls that you actually want. Now this is a super painstaking and laborious process. Um, it's kind of fine when you're doing a small UFO like maybe just one or two levels because it doesn't take that long but I found this to be a real drag. It, it went on for hours and of course I screwed up a bunch so it took even longer. But ultimately, you're going to surround your build with these hanging walls if you do this build guide um, to get that look and feel. Um, you're going to die six or seven hundred times. And uh, I guess, how long did this build take me? I probably screwed up about four times. Each time, probably an hour and a half. And then, yeah. The build itself is probably three hours, and, and then you just die again. It's just what happens. But I'm obviously rambling here. Like, you've seen what it takes to do this build, and it's not a lot. What it really is, is just very painstaking, lots of dying. <laughs> um, but in the end, what you'll end up with is really quite a beautiful thing. And I didn't even use the materials that I wanted, so I had to like go and change it all to metal, and it was it was a bit of a drag. Um, so hopefully you'll be smarter than me and use the actual materials that you want for all of your hanging walls. Stair gantries are your friend. Like just placing floating gantries all the way around it, um, so that you can gain access to all of the pieces. It's it's super simple, and uh, you can just remove them when you're done. Um, that foundation that's hanging there, I kept it hanging there right until the end because if you need to place walls, unless you blueprinted them, you need a foundation. So in the end, you end up with something really rather beautiful. And of course, what I wanted to do when I made something beautiful was to destroy it. So I decided, well, you know, why not just go and launch a nuke on it? Uh, I must admit, I actually wanted to see if I could push my survival tent like outside of the area to film it, but no. Ah, oh, beauty. What a beauty. But of course, nuking it was not enough. My friend Johnny had the brilliant idea of actually bringing in the strike. beautiful and that's it i really hope that you enjoyed it that you'll get something from it that it'll um, inspire you to make whatever you want to make um so get in touch if you need any help see you later